So you might wonder what I just did. When you come towards the village, we call this a well. In Sinhalese, we call it Linda. So we have water actually, the water that we, we get from the earth. And in front of me, if you ever wondered how coconut oil is made, 100% organic coconut oil made at my friend's place, just at his house. So if you take it, you need to first find a very old coconut. Once you find it, you get a knife and you cut it into small pieces like this. So this is the dried version of the coconut. Then once you do this, they take it to a mill and they just simply use the process and get the coconut oil. So you can see <laughs> from this to this and becomes this chemical free, zero chemicals in white coconut oil. You can only find it here in Sri Lanka, 100% guaranteed. So you can just eat it like this. Oh, wow. This tastes just like coconut oil. Amazing. Wow. You can see the oil. On this, we use it for cooking. And here in Sri Lanka, we use it to apply it on your hair so that you don't get gray hair. Yeah, no stress, stress free. Accidentally, I just crossed path with this amazing tree. Guess what this is? These are called huckleberries. Very rare. Back in the day, we used to have a lot of trees. But now, since the development and people have been cutting all these trees, this is an amazing discovery for me here, especially in the, towards the southern part of uh, Sri Lanka. Oh my God. Huckleberries amazing come here i want to show you something so next to the huckleberry tree we have a cashew tree but unfortunately we don't have cashew because it's not the season we just passed the season april is supposed to be the season for cashew then here we go a local olive tree in singhalese we call it veralu this is something that you don't get in the city you only find it here in the village Huckleberries. Wow. frying papadam, the ever famous papadam and you can see we use only coconut oil to do that and this is the coconut oil that we get it straight from the yard it's gonna be a yummy papadam yummy wow Sri Lankans are well known for their hospitality and this speak itself. It's an amazing meal that which they insisted me to have and you can see the red rice. Our kings used to eat only red rice which is low in carbs and also we have uh, two types of fish. We have a nice coconut sambal 
Oh my goodness, look at the color of this. This is the difference between uh, grinding and uh, pounding. We call it the devil potatoes. Look at this, my goodness. The aroma is amazing. And this is the ambultia that we just did. The baked sour fish. Looks amazing and the aroma is unbelievable. And we have another fish. Now look at the difference of this. This is the fish curry, the traditional Sri Lankan gall fish curry. And this is the bake. So you can see the color difference. This is a bit darker and this is like kind of brownish, but tastes completely different. And we have a traditional dal curry. So it's a mango curry. So I'm so impatient to try this. And uh, I thank them for having me here. Yeah, time to dig in. Wow, it's a banana leaf. Nice. Oh wow, okay, enough. So she just mentioned that the rice is from their own paddy fields. So this is not something that you buy it from the market or your shop or your supermarket it's straight from the backyard mango curry okay wow look at that amazing potatoes yeah oof bake fish ambultial coconut sambal pol sambal <laughs> We call it the pol sambal here in Sri Lanka. We call it pol sambal. It's very famous. Yes, dal. Curry. Yes, nice. Wow, look at the color of this. It's going to be an amazing food experience for me. So, when you do the ambul tiyal, you don't get the fishy smell, the stench of the fish. It smells like the ocean. And also you can smell the garcinia in this. Look at this, that the fish is so firm and it's cooked, well cooked. It's more than cooked, it's like it's, like it's baked. You can see this, baked fish. Amazing what you can do with the wood stove the potato has got this kind of a sweet taste to it but it's spicy at the same time and the mango honestly i'm not a fan favorite of mango curry but let's see oh wow oh my god it's unbelievable I cannot explain the taste or just to say that okay the mango tastes like something like this or maybe the mango tastes like chicken no there is nothing like that it has its own unique taste it's so oh, it's so sweet you don't even get my words in Sri Lanka what we do is we mix our food well you put everything little by little then you make it like a small ball Something like this. See, everything is inside. Now you taste it. This is the cooking that I would love to experience and this is the same techniques that I would love to engage and uh, give the same experience in Malaysia. So in the future, I think through Dylan's Kitchen, you will see more of me cooking, traditional Gaul cooking, the coastal cooking of Sri Lanka. Amazing.